time guys if I'm back again with another video and this is going to be a very really short video a very really quick video and in this video what we will do is we will look at how we can get Visual Basic to tell us what is the active cell uh, on which you know where, where the cursor is in Excel and put that cell address in another cell um, let me just quickly show you what I mean I'm just going to uh, change the seen a bit here there you go okay now uh, this is Excel now uh, this you know this is the active cell and the address of that Excel cell is column E and row number five and that's listed up here okay so um, that is the address uh, the cell address uh, the active cell address so in this video, what we will do is we will see how we can use uh, Visual Basic to tell us what is the address of the active cell and plug that address into another cell. So say for example, here, I'm just gonna highlight this as yellow. Uh, we want the active cell address to be plugged in here automatically. As we move around the screen, the active cell address should uh, be updated here. So for example, if, it's, if my cursor was here, where the active cell is D11. So it should, this cell here should say D11. When I move my cursor here, uh, this is C5, this should automatically change to C5. Now, why would you wanna do that? Uh, that could be because you might want to do some uh, further processing uh, based on what is the value of the current cell. So you, in order to get what the current value of the cell is, uh, you need to figure out what the address is. Uh, one such uh, application would be that you might have a pivot table and you might want to have a pivot table filtered the contents uh, filtered uh, according to what the uh, content of the current address is we i had used this technique in a video about four or five months ago uh, for using for your know, drop down list dependent uh, drop down list i'll uh, put a link uh, down in the description so you can check that out too uh, after this you're done with this video. So uh, like I said, uh, this is going to be a real quick video. And so let's get started. Okay. So uh, what we want to do is we want to have the current uh, cell address automatically get updated in this cell. Okay. So and we'll be using Visual Basic for that. So let's go into developer and Visual Basic. Double click and I'm going to change that to worksheet. And this is where I'll start uh, entering the code. Range D1 dot. Uh, this is, uh, what this means is, uh, in the D1 cell, the value of the D1 cell needs to be uh, active cell dot address, okay? So the D1 cell value needs to be the active cell address, okay? So at, you know, as you move on the screen in, in the Excel worksheet, uh, the active cell address is gonna change. And so every time it changes, the D1 cell needs to be updated. Now there's one more line of code that we'll actually have to put in to actually have this being updated. And then it's this uh, workbook dot refresh all, and that's it. Okay, and there you see, uh, as I move around, it, the, the active cell is getting changed. Uh, right now I am on column F, row seven, and that's what's saying, dollar uh, F, dollar seven. Uh, it puts a dollar sign because it needs to lock it down. Um, but it, if it's, you, you can, you, you know, you can uh, obviously uh, get rid of the dollar signs also if you want to. But this is how you would have it return the uh, the address of the current cell. So, for example, I'm over here. This is C5, so that's what it says over here. So, as I move around, it keeps changing the the the, the contents of the cell D1 because cell D1 now represents what your active cell is. So, right now it is P12, which is actually shown up here, and that gets updated automatically up here. So that's uh, a very really quick video on how you would uh, use uh, active uh, to use uh, Visual Basic uh, to get 
what the address of the active cell is and then plug that address uh, into the cell. Now, uh, like I had mentioned at the beginning, uh, one of the reasons why you would want to do that is, say for example, uh, you have a pivot table and you want the, you, you have a filter applied on it and you want the filter to update as you move around the screen, as this, the cell content, the, the active cell that you're on, as you, know, as you move around, the, the active cell is gonna change. So based on what it, where, the, where the cursor is, what the content of that cell is, you would want the uh, filter on the pivot table to get updated accordingly. So that's one of the, way, one of the ways you can do that. Uh, if you like this video, please kindly give it a thumbs up. And if you would like to see more videos like this, please kindly subscribe. Thank you.